I don't get why there's an FCC that can make those rules. I don't understand it. It doesn't jive with what I understand about America and the First Amendment. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Well, they're just words, right? What? They're just words. Yeah. But, you want to let me finish? <laughs> <laughs> Love it, or do you hate it? No, like... but he's bothered me so much. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was bullied, but I was bigger. I was bigger and I was bullied. You're still bullied, even though you're bigger than kids. I was bullied kid. by littler kids than me. Like, oh, no. This, this way. This is a flashback. And I was bigger. I could beat the <laughs> out of you. <laughs> I'm like, how do you get your Money. series from FX? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't think anybody's done that. No. Really. Well, FX um, uh, took my series off. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what the f so weird it was really successful yeah. <laughs> and then they just made an arbitrary decision that's weird to just i mean i was baffled yeah. i was like guys why we're like it's just a feeling we yeah, have i was yeah. like that's weird guys probably like, like so. a new ceo they always do shit like that that's yeah. the thing yeah. i, yeah. I haven't thought of that yeah. yeah that there wasn't one but maybe it's something like that i'm thinking of buying a goat i'm thinking of buying a goat because i want to have a trash can that i can make love to so that's that's why I'm going to buy a goat, so I can have sex with a trash can. I can do that with a trash can I have now, but a goat has a vagina. That makes it a lot better. I don't care that you're upset. I don't care that you're upset. I'm still getting the goat. I remember you weren't of this world to me. You were like a... I just had never seen anybody that looks like you, or... I think I was like incredibly you. average. You were like an like a alien who studied human behavior and got close but didn't quite get there <laughs> like any other even a musician even being a musician and on there what are you doing don't be a musician that's a stupid thing to do for a living <laughs> but but if it doesn't work out the way you want it you can look at these you've got these guys here <laughs> these guys okay what are you talking about because child molesters are very tenacious people they love molesting childs. It's crazy. It's like their favorite thing. I mean, when you can, it's so crazy because when you consider the risk in being a child molester, speaking not of even the damage you're doing, but the risk, there is no worse life available to a human than being a caught child molester. And yet they still do it, which from you can only really surmise that it must be really good. I mean, from their point of view, from their, not ours, but from their point of view, it must be amazing for them to risk so much. Be How do you think I feel? It's my last show, probably. Because... What is the best advice you can give for, like, a student in, like, attitude? when you're doing that, because you kind of say a big F you to a lot of people, and I like that. Say, you mean... At, was, I like you, attitude when you're... Um, what attitude when, you when you're have? Yeah, when you're in the production, which you've done it all, it's, and what, what's the best attitude to really get... The best attitude in production is really uh, uh, really wanting to help a lot. Uh, really wanting to help whoever's show it is uh, be really great. I mean, just... I mean, I think that's anybody who's doing any job, yeah. really. She'd want that job to be done really well. I mean, this is a simple answer, but it's really true. Yeah. Uh, there's one person really usually that has an idea of how to do something. And everybody else should really want... I mean, it's such a rare and great gift to get a job in show business. It's very, very... It's not... You're not going to get one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, statistically, you're, you're, you're not. I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right, right. Because <laughs> you can't... There you go. Uh, don't, don't tell the band that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because you can't... You get this right. You can't take people's, like, historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like, white people are always like, come on! It wasn't us. Like, they want black people to forget everything. Like, every year, white people add 100 years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently... <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you could buy a guy. That's right. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. <laughs> like it just. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh yeah, it just ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe. Just boom, and then it's just been parades and presents right, ever right, since. Right, exactly. You gotta. You gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair, they remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we, yeah. stuff that we went sure, through. Sure, sure. That, that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away. That was really <laughs> hard for us. And we're still, so it's pretty even. He goes, yeah, I, I blew two guys just to find out that I didn't like it. And I was like, two? <laughs> I feel yeah. like you'd know after the, after the first. first. Like, what happened yeah. after the first one? Well, maybe it was just yeah. that dick. Yeah. That's maybe. true. Maybe it didn't taste good. Right. And he was you like, know? I got to try this again. If you're going to try anything, you should try it twice. You should. I yeah. do think that. Yeah. And that's why I don't want to try it. Okay. Because <laughs> that means sucking two dicks. Now, take yourself through that logically. I'm a man. I've got two little girls. I, I'm not allowed in the ladies' room. I mean, not me personally. I didn't get banned. I'm just, I can't go in a ladies' room because I got a big old penis. So I just can't go in. I'm not bragging that it's, it's not big, like, porny, thrusty penis. It's just big, like an old man's nose. Just kind of like, just, just. Here's a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because there was a black guy walking behind him. And he was, he was nervous. He was new to the city, this chicken. And he was like, I feel like he's following me, but I'm not sure. So then he thought, maybe if I cross the road, then if he crossed the road, he's definitely following me. So he crossed the road, and the black guy went home. He's living his life. And the chicken was like, I'm such a racist. And he felt, he felt bad. About a month later, a black guy ate the chicken. A uh, different black guy. I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> By the way, don't be upset, because this is not a racist joke. This joke is not racist. The chicken was racist. The chicken was definitely racist. But that's chickens. Chickens are very closed down and suspicious and prejudiced. You kind of can't blame them considering that their species murder rate is 100%. <laughs> I'm not allowed in a ladies' room because I love looking at people's vaginas anytime that I have that opportunity. You know, it's amazing that we still need separate rooms to pee in. As, as human beings, men are so disgusting that we can't be trusted to pee in the same room. So I have to take my girls to the men's room, which is awesome. Look, girls, nine penises. <laughs> Sex is weird, though. You know when you're having sex with somebody, you start to make those noises? You know those sexual noises? Those, you ever feel weird about the noises you make during sex? You ever listen to yourself and go like, where the fuck did I pick that one up? What the hell was that? Because sometimes you make the oddest noises. You really get into it, you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. woo! <laughs> It'd be fun to make that noise with somebody that you're having sex with for the very first time, you know? After all the tension that built up to it, right at the moment of passion, you go, ah! <laughs> Just to watch their face going, ah. Shit. Fuck, man, another one. This was weird. I was walking down the street and some guy told me I was wearing a faggy shirt. What the hell does that mean? Total stranger walks up to me on the street and says, he goes, Hey, nice faggy shirt, you faggot! <laughs> I remember the shirt I was wearing. It was pink, and it had a collar, and it had these little pictures of guys blowing each other on it, you know, like sort of a... <laughs> Grown-ups ain't worth a meat. Whoops. All right. All right. Oh, shit. God damn it. Uh, idiot. This isn't a gay voice, by the way. It's not. Shut up. <laughs>